It's gone. Someone stole my thermal paste. Was it you? Was it you? Greetings, welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube PC building thing. And today we will build a PC for my mom. After my uh, father's PC build, well, some stuff was... Uh, she was using this. This is a um, AMD FX something. Uh, I don't remember what it is. Uh, I'll check out later and I'll put it here on the screen. Which is uh, somewhat old and uh, power consumption is not the greatest thing. So uh, we are going to build her a new machine with all this stuff that we have in front of us. And the goal while building a new PC is because, I don't know, I, um, I am a symmetry kind of guy, is to build a um, somewhat uh, uh, equal PC, not in terms of components, but in terms of um, the aesthetics of the thing. That's why we are going to use some stuff that, well, it is uh, just like my uh, father's PC build. So uh, yeah, let's get uh, straight to it. But before that, this video is supported by Switch Technology in uh, Lisboa. If you want great prices and great customer care, you gotta go to Switch Technology in Lisboa. They care about PCs, old and new, so please check the link in the description below. Se queres grandes preços e atendimento de qualidade por pessoas que percebem do assunto, vai à Switch Technology em Lisboa, onde tu, o cliente, és o mais importante. Switch Technology em Lisboa, por favor, clica no link na descrição. As usual here on the channel, let's start at the start by um, starting unboxing some stuff. This is our motherboard, the Gigabyte B450 Gaming X. In the, in the box, Gigabyte sends you the um, usual stuff, a CD, a, a multilingual installation guide, your uh, manual. We have some stuff that belonged to my uh, father's case, and that is pretty much it. As always, one can use the motherboard box as a uh, assembly bench, let's call it that. So here we have our motherboard, B450 chipset, socket AM4 obviously, DDR4 for DIMM slots, some city connectors, M.2 which we will be using, plenty of I.O at the bottom, our I.O at the back, so um, pretty much your standard stuff. If you have a trained eye, you will see the CPU is already in there, because well, since this belonged to my father, I left it in there when I disassembled it, and this is an AMD Ryzen 3 1200AF, a 4-core, a 4-thread CPU, no... Uh, hyper threading or multi-thread here so uh, sure motherboard is presented let's start putting our cpu cooler in place gonna use my um, ifixit tool again from the guys at switch technology in lisboa i need to remove my um, back plate we are going to use a cooler master 212 black edition just like I did with my father's PC, because again, I like uh, getting there and seeing uh, similar PCs when it comes to aesthetics. That's a problem that I have. So uh, bear with it. Backplate goes out and the Cooler Master backplate goes in like so. Making sure it stays in place when you put your motherboard down. Excel, somewhere in the middle. Now we can screw these things that will hold our CPU cooler in place. I feel like a DJ turning up the volume. Like so. So uh, we need some. Uh, Thermal compound, some thermal paste, which was in here somewhere. It's gone. Someone stole my thermal paste. Was it you? 
was it you? There we are. Some Arctic MX4. And you put it a little in the middle. I like to put some in the corners. Because why not? There you go. That's more than enough. Now we grab our cooler. The Cooler Master logo faces down. And we will screw it in place. Trying to go on a diagonal. Let's put it like this. There you have it. CPU cooler is installed. As always, t-shirt coming out, you can grab it by the cooler to make sure it's in place. So just like my father's machine, we are not going to use the stock fan, which is a Silencio fan. We are going to use a MF120R RGB from Cooler Master that, uh, well, it needs cleaning, so uh, sure. There you have it, a freshly clean fan, because uh, dust is uh, a machine's best friend, or worst. Something like that. One of both. There we are. CPU fan is in place. So uh, let's address something else. We can now address the RAM situation. We are going to use some uh, GSQ Aegis DDR4 RAM. These are 4 plus 4, a total of 8 gigabytes running at uh, 2400. So, uh, yeah, as always, align the notch on the module with the notch on the RAM socket, put it in place, and push it down on both sides until it clicks. By the way, these it spreaders don't belong in here. These were some um, Johnspo RGB thingies. But, well, since it is fixed RGB, which is the same uh, saying it's a um, freaking rainbow. I removed the RGB part of it and kept the um, heat spreader, because why not? So uh, the other is the same deal, put it in place and push it down. So uh, RAM is installed. Now we can take care of storage and we are going to use a uh, Kyoxia Xeria, that name over there, 250 gigabytes, because again, I will install the operating system in here and uh, that is pretty much it. So we are not going to use any SATA SSDs or spinning hard drives for that matter. We are going to use this, a uh, M.2, which goes in there. But we are going to put a heat spreader in this because I have this one laying around, also from uh, Jeanspo. So we put our M.2 in here, making sure we have enough space for the screw to go in. Something like, nope, this is too much. Something like this, sure. Now we can put our thermal pad, which is already been used, like so. And then we can cover it, making a uh, lovely sandwich of an M.2. So we gotta remove our M.2 screw, put our SSD in there, like so. Make sure this is in place, because sometimes it comes out when you're screwing it. And we secure it in place with the same screw that we just removed. And look at that. Motherboard is all assembled and whatnot. So let's get our PC case and put things inside of it. And so this is the case that we are going to be using. Another Fantex P300A with a front mesh panel. I already have two Polaris fans from Inwin in there and uh, when I built my father's PC I removed the one that was on top 
and replace it by a um, non-RGB fan from Arctic because now I have an extra fan to put in here. So three RGB fans, just like my father's PC, and on top I'm got, going to put another one like that, a uh, Arctic non-RGB fan because this one, being a uh, in-win fan, they daisy chain with each other. I just need to plug this one to the other two and screw it in place. So let's take care of that. So exhaust um, in-wind fan is in place. So uh, we have a total of three RGB fans plus the uh, CPU cooler one. So I suppose we can put, we can put the um, top exhaust fan, which you can barely see. So uh, that's why I'm using a non-RGB fan. There you go, top exhaust fan is in place. We can put our filter back in there. So, here I have a, uh, well, I have something in here. <laughs> it is a Seasonic Focus Gold. It is a semi-modular power supply. And I believe it is uh, 550 watt, something like that. I don't know, it's more than enough, and it's from Seasonic, and it is 80 plus gold, so uh, let's put stuff inside. So before we put our motherboard in place, it is a good thing to put our IO shield first. And now, we can put our motherboard in there. Look at that, we can start screwing. So our motherboard is in place. Now we can start connecting some uh, I.O. which I'm not gonna bother you with it. Some front panels and stuff like that. We will be right back. And so cable management is um, managed as much as possible. And the only thing left to do is to put our um, GPU in there and well since my mother browses the interwebs and plays Microsoft casual games and stuff like that we are going to use the um, same GPU that she was already using which is this one from uh, MSI this is a GTX 660 2 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 RAM, I don't know, it is a pretty looking card, of course it is old, but uh, well, it's more than enough, but uh, it's one of the most beautiful cards that I, um, beautiful cards that I own, I don't know, I think it is just lovely, and it will go in here, like so. We need to secure it in place, of course. There you have it, GPU is in place and the only thing left to do is to plug our 6-pin PCIe power connector which will go in like this. Let me just hide these zip ties and there you go, look at that, it is all assembled, time to connect some peripherals and see if it runs or not. And we are back with our machine plug and connected. Let's power it on. Well, at least we have power, which is a good sign. And we have a boot. Let's quickly go into our BIOS, check if everything is okay. XMP is enabled. Let's also enable the AMD CPU FTPM because in Windows 11, let us boot from, uh, from our USB thumb drive. Ah yes, and now begins the joy of installing a uh, new operating system. 
because uh, I don't know, man. Having a um, freshly new installation or fresh new installation just feels right. I don't know, man. So uh, yeah, let's take care of that. I'm not gonna bother you with this. It is just uh, a Windows installation. Let me know if you want to see a video on this because uh, it's not boring at all. You just have to click next, 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 and uh, next, and uh, that's pretty much it. Just creating the partition here. Sure. And there we go. Now it begins. The joy of copying files and uh, extracting them and installing them. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna grab lunch and uh, we will be back in a moment. And there you have it, my uh, mother's PC, all uh, plug-in connected and is working. RGB is uh, set to green, to green, yeah, sure, that's green, to uh, pink, because uh, pink, RGB, I'm not going to play um, any games, because that would be uh, kind of dumb, that's not the point. As I've mentioned, my mother browses the um, interwebs and you and we just saw the internet is working, which is great because it's working. And um, well, she goes on Facebook and uh, I don't know, plays some Microsoft casual games. Everything is up and running. Here we have my uh, or uh, her AMD Ryzen 3 1200 with its four cores, four threads. 8 gigabytes of RAM, everything is uh, installed correctly, so uh, yeah, sure. Look at all the uh, these devices, 100% uh, installed, so um, I guess it's a video. Uh, again, not playing any games because uh, I don't feel like it, and it's not the purpose of this video. It is a somewhat similar build to my father's PC, but uh, in that one, uh, I played some games, but uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call it a video. If you like this one, leave it a thumbs up, because um, I appreciate when your thumbs are uh, pointing up. Remember that you can follow me on social media, if you want to, because social media is uh, a thing, uh, apparently. Expect different videos in the future on uh, video game reviews, more PC builds, old and new, uh, because that's what I do. As always, thank you very much for watching this PC building uh, thing that you did. And be nice to your mothers. Until my next video, please do take care.